Welcome back, everybody, to the Sunday Skirmish. We've got at least one more game, hopefully two. We'll see what happens in this next one. But thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that follow button so you can come back every single Sunday. And without further ado, we're going to throw it over to our casters for game number six. Take it away, Kid Knot and Shaft. Maybe two. I do want to point out that uh, my co-cast, he's the smart one in our in our group. Uh, Kid Knot actually set up is going to be a 4-2 in favor of a Zerg player. And right now, Penguin has all of the momentum. I think he's won like the last three games in a row. He could make it four games. Maybe he was toying with Kozan initially. It's hard to be sure, but right now, Penguin's ZBT is pretty much unrivaled. Um, it, it's hands down his best matchup. And um, Kozan, he, his TBZ is not bad, but uh, it almost seems kind of predictable. And something you don't want to be against a player like Penguin, who does do a lot of greed or like cheese uh, builds, is be greedy. Um, you don't want to play standard. You don't want to be predictable. You want to keep mixing it up. So as the series goes longer, it tends to favor both the player who is more um, like more varied in their play, but also like the stronger player because he can adapt to the inconsistencies of his opponent because he has more opportunity to do so. What do you think about that, kid? Well, let's talk a little bit about my prediction. I'm not going to say anything right at the moment, but I'm still going to stick with it. And uh -huh. uh, Penguin, he's looking good right at the moment. He seems right. to mix it up his builds, and it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, so basically, uh, I'd asked uh, Dan Notori, I think his name is. Apparently, we butchered it earlier. I'd asked him um, what uh, like what score he thought it was going to be. Does he agree with you? Is it four two? Is it four uh, three? But yes, we are getting a lot more activity in the chat. So, guys, thank you so much for being active, and um, we we are responding. So, you know, let us know what you think, and who do you want to see? in uh in the next week's show match like if let's say penguin does win like uh dana Tori said um uh, who, who do you want to play next do you want another uh zvt do you want a zvp do you want a zvz um or you know you want a tvt because you think kozan's gonna win. let us know in the the twitch chat guys okay looks like we have penguin actually opened just a standard opening as is kozan you want to introduce the player, Shaft? Yeah, we still have yet to do that. That's the thing about these macro games. You can wait till two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, top left corner, we're looking at Ascension to Ire. He's our green Terran. He is uh, scrapping for his life right now. He's a game point for his opponent. He is Rival Gaming. Kozan. And in the bottom right-hand corner, up in the match, three to two, coming back. Like I knew he could. It is Ice Storm's Penguin. Woo! Penguin! Go, Penguin. There's a reason he has win in his name. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a good point. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we've got a very, 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 very fast evolution chamber. Penguin's doing his drop style. Yeah, he's got his overlord kind of sneaking around mm -hmm. toward... Uh, mm -hmm the northern part of the map and going toward the main base and yep. so, yeah don't be surprised if we get uh, one of those drops oh i already know this is going to be a drop um he's doing it on three bases he's doing lings banelings and uh queens basically the, when you do a ling baneling drop or a ling or a ling queen drop rather um the most common thing is for hellions to come out and repairs to be on the hellions repairs to be on cyclones repairs to be on tanks whatever factory unit really um when that happens the scvs naturally cluster so if you have a few banelings held in reserve in those overlords you can wreck the entire mineral line he's basically doing the same shenanigans he's done every game that he's won so far kill the scv line and then win the war of attrition yeah, let me just point one thing out. We do have Kozen moving out with an early medevac, and mm -hmm. he's taking a couple of Hellions with him. So that's <clears> a little bit, uh, a bit of a change up for Kozen yeah. in this game. He's being less predictable. This is awesome. And he 
was able to pick up two more Hellions, so he's going to go into the main base with mm -hmm. four Hellions, and we have um, Penguin just produced a whole bunch of Lings, but uh, they're on the outside of the map or toward the um, mm -hmm. those inside. That could yeah. be a lot of damage done by these Hellions. Could be. There's a few in the natural that he could maybe respond with, but you are absolutely right. This is not looking good. Hellion's going to be swinging right into this uh, this main mineral line. Does get a nice round there with the drone. It's going to be forcing the medevac to pick up. Kills off one of the, the Hellions, in fact, but Lings are there. So this, this, this is going to be dealt with. Yeah, I think he dealt with it really well. He only lost mm -hmm. four drones, so yeah. that, that was very well held. Yeah, earlier I was saying, uh, you know, you need roaches to deal with hellions. You're like, oh, no, you can do it with lings. Penguin's like, fuck you, I can do it with drones, man. <laughs> yeah, we have five droplords mm -hmm. coming from the natural base of Penguin mm -hmm. moving toward uh, the other side of the map. So yeah. this could get really interesting. Yeah, and you can see he's got the banelings. Um, the interesting thing is he did not elect to do queens this time. So, oh, no, no, the, yeah, those are queens, not banelings. Yeah, those are queens, not bailings. I, I forgot to click the. My yeah, bad, I, guys. Dude, I believe he has I four queens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now the banelings are more. Yeah, that... this is going to get really exciting. He's going mm -hmm. to be a, a major drop. You see, he's playing a little bit of Zerg Terran with his drops here. Dude, this is this is standard penguin, man. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. He likes his aggression. Yes, indeed, man. Like you got to wonder, um, did Kozan wear his brown pants today? I'm not sure, but he's about to hes about to make him brown, that's for sure. Exactly, dude. And notice how Penguin's actually distributing this army. He's got his attack up front, and he just unloaded nothing but the link. Queens haven't been unloaded. Banelings got unloaded to deal with, you know, the units that... Hellions, I mean, really. Now that attack's over, SCVs are getting butchered. This is the style Penguin likes to play. Um, he's, he's hitting all over the field. Yes, this this is really good. I mean, he's got lings everywhere. He's got four queens. Mm -hmm. SCVs are being pulled, and lings and queens uh, taking out all of the SCVs. Yeah, and this is a three-two score right now for Penguin. I want to remind you guys. So, with the fact that uh, there's only ten workers on the field for Kozan, this is getting brutal. It, it definitely is. I mean, this is so exciting to watch Penguin style. He's pulled just about everything out of the books against Kozan. Mm-hmm. What a great style he has. <laughs> oh, man, this is this is so brutal. Kozan, of course, not wanting to tap out. There is $10 on the line, guys, but I don't think it's going to matter. Penguin, um, definitely a very formidable opponent, and uh, the queens are going to be falling. There's two more workers on the field than there were like a minute ago, three more now. But there's Banelings morphing. There's Lings yeah. on the field. Like... He's Penguin's morphing full. 11 banglings. He's going to take down the supply mm -hmm. depots, and then he's going to run everything else that he has. And Penguin is floating 1,200 minerals there for a minute, already up back up to 1,000. So you can tell, like, his macro is slipping, and it doesn't even matter. There's the GG, guys. And that is going to be the game point. That is going to be the series. Penguin taking down Kozan. Four and two. I got to tell you, Shaft... You that called it! 4-2 series. I called it ahead of time, but I wasn't going to say it until this game was over. What a great series. Yes, indeed. You did call it right in the pregame chat. That was amazing. And uh, we will be uh, paying out to Penguin. I'm going to be taking care of that as soon as this cast is over. It's about 3.30 p.m., guys. So why don't we... Uh, See, sometimes we'll we'll do a little bit of arcade um, at, at the end of these series, but I've got to head out, and apparently Andy was just letting me know he's got to run as well. So I'm going to be heading into work. Andy is going to uh, be heading out as well. So no arcade, unfortunately, this time. Hopefully next time we will have uh, a little time at the end for some viewer arcade. So let us know in the chat um, or on Twitter. Actually, Twitter might be better because, you know, we don't know when you're watching this. So Twitter at Polygon SC2. What arcade games would you guys want to see next week? What player do you want to see next week? Go up against Penguins. Ultra insane style. I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. My co-caster tonight is Kidnot01. And our observer was Andyman Boobs 8005. So I'm going to give them a second to plug themselves. But if you want to stay tuned with what Polygon Gaming is doing, Follow us on Twitter at PolygonSC2. 
You can also follow my personal Twitter at the only chef where I do, uh, you know, random crazy like memes talking to the audience or whatever. Polygon Games, the more official account. Um, and of course, follow us on YouTube where these VODs will be posted if you miss like games one through six or, you know, any of the ones in between. That's going to be a place to do it. Link is in the description of the Twitch channel. All you got to do is go check that there. And I'm going to pass it over to Kidnot and then Andy Man, who are going to tell you where you can find them. But until next time, guys, shout out late, my dudes. All right. Yeah, Kidnot, oh. go ahead and uh, let us know where people can go watch your scream. Uh, stream. Actually, so how- hold that thought. Hold that thought. My oh. fault. My fault. My oh. fault. We will not have a Sunday. A skirmish next week. Apparently, oh. Cheese Adelphia is happening. Ah. Penguin won't be able to make it, so it will be the Sunday after that. All right, so you heard that, guys. Tune in Sunday after next for the next Sunday skirmish. We don't want to try to compete with Cheese Adelphia. That's going to be a big event. We want you guys to be able to watch all those games. So definitely come back though in the next two weeks. We will be back here again. And yeah, Kid Not. Where can people find you? Kid Not uh, does coach some uh, diamond and under leagues if anybody is interested in that but yeah could not tell us where they can find you at well you can always find me on starcraft at kid not one i'm there every day seven days a week 10 to 15 hours a day kid not one on twitch i do uh, pretty much coach uh, everybody for free especially the new players nice. i think now that it's free to play i think it's a great opportunity to get some new players into the game Oh, for sure. Yeah, now is the time to play StarCraft, ladies and gentlemen. So if you don't have it yet, what are you doing with your life? But thank you so much for tuning in and watching today. Uh, you can also find my stream. Uh, I don't do anything right now, but Andyman80085 is mine. I will be starting that up again in February, so definitely go check that out for even more StarCraft II action. But that was it. Thank you all so much for doing that and, or tuning in today. And thank you so much to our players for playing Penguin and Kozan, bringing us some excellent high-level gameplay. Congratulations to Penguin for taking the uh, Best of 7 series and, of course, winning winning that $10 prize. So, excellently well done by him. Uh, and without, with that, that's going to be pretty much it. We're going to go to our little outro screen, and then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next couple of weeks. Would be phenomenal. Um, but, yes, I was Andy Man. Casters today were Shaft and Kid Not. Give it up for them. Give it up for yourselves for being here. And that's going to do it for the day. Thank you so much, everybody, again. Have a good afternoon. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.